is there research for HBOT and my condition? So sometimes the answer to that is absolutely yes, and sometimes the answer to that is not quite. And if there wasn't research to support it, now we have to get back into mechanisms of action and be able to have a meaningful conversation about that. Listen, Mrs. Jones, no, there really isn't a lot of research or any research to support the use of hyperbaric for this. However, we have treated this before, if you have, or but I do understand what this condition is. This condition is an inflammatory condition. It's an immune system issue. It's a tissue repair and regeneration issue. It's a hypoxia issue. It's a mitochondrial problem, right? If you can understand what the actual root cause of their issue is, and if you really understand the mechanisms of action of hyperbaric, then you could have a meaningful conversation. Well, listen, the issue you're having is a mitochondrial issue. But we know that hyperbaric improves mitochondrial function. We know that it increases mitochondrial size. It increases mitochondrial density. We know that oxygen is the final acceptor of electrons in the electron transport chain. And often that's the rate limiting step to energy production in your body. So if we could upregulate the amount of oxygen going into the mitochondria, we can certainly upregulate mitochondrial efficiency and production and improve cellular energy. So while there's not exact research for this condition, we do know that this is the pathology of your condition. This is the mechanism of hyperbaric. So to me, it makes sense that we should apply this therapy for your condition, but ultimately that's your choice, Mrs. Jones. If you can have those kinds of conversations, you can help patients make the best decisions for them.